Welcome to Tracy's Tuesday Talk. Um, we are in Wanda's lovely backyard, and thank you for having us You're in welcome. your backyard, um, so we can we can show off this this lovely um, background as we're as we're chatting. Um, but we're interviewing Wanda today, and um, it's the day after Thanksgiving. It's the day after Thanksgiving, so we hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving, and we're still recovering from <laughs> turkey overload. But that's a good thing. We got to be thankful for that, I guess. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Turkey. Good things. <laughs> good things are turkeys. That's right. So first of all, how have you been? You personally, how are you? How have you been? Wonderful. Oh, absolutely <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> it's been just a terrific year. What can I say? That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Not many people are saying that. <laughs> well, it wasn't what I had planned. No. But so you just change your plans along the way. Well, and isn't that life, right? And in, in, in itself, anyways, right? We're yeah. constantly adapting. This just happens to be the whole world's adapting. Yeah. And if you don't have COVID, everybody else is healthy. That's right. Because nobody's had colds or flus or exactly. Anything. That's right. I know people are being are excellently are being healthy. Religious. They are about washing and yes. disinfecting yes and, yes let's hope that keeps going for flu season too yeah yeah i love it um so how's the veer family how's your entire family doing our entire family is very well our son in ontario worked from home anyway and nice and so he's been practicing yeah for years <laughs> for years he's and got it down pat he was really upset with all these people in his house all the time <laughs> when his whole family had to stay home <laughs> That's great. <laughs> um, Trish has been at home and of course had uh, Sasha with her and Curtis is, was at home, is working from home. Yeah. Has Chloe and teaching the school business is was difficult yeah, for that's, everybody. Yeah, that's a big challenge for a lot of parents for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, there's a reason why some of us don't choose homeschooling. Well, yeah. and there's reasons why we didn't become teachers. Exactly. So exactly. that was... That was a tough slide, but I think most young people kind of got in a groove that seemed to work for their family. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. So yeah. we're all really well. The and the kids are happy to be in school? They are very happy, most of the time. Most of the <laughs> Well, you were telling me, who was it that said, yeah, I can't take a day off anymore, oh, Grandma? <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> Sasha, yes. <that's right. laughs> Last year, she had <laughs> millions of reasons why she couldn't go to school. But this year, she informed me that, Grandma, you know, don't come up with any plans because I can't take a day off, off school. school. Yeah, that's right. So, it's too important there now. You go. There you go. That's a, always a good sign. That's good. <laughs> So how's the fall treated you so far? Really, it was beautiful. I know, the weather's been unreal, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm really grateful for that. Well, and I'm yeah. a weather follower, so I was looking to see, like, last year, today was, the high was minus three, and the low was minus eight. Oh, yeah, Just so we've got to be happy so, that even when jackets were yeah. sitting outside. Yeah. 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 That's for sure. Yeah. And so what are you looking forward to? Anything in the fall that you're looking forward to? Look at, there's wonderful preserves here, people. Yes. And Wanda's very well known for her preserves in our church. <laughs> so the fall, well, just continuing, I've been, because we did a renovation, um, I'm right. still going through papers and that's <laughs> always full of surprises. <laughs> and, uh, and doing preserves and reading some books and watching movies that I never watched before. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll do a little plug for Wanda's preserves because if you want preserves, they just need to contact you, right? Yes. I even yeah. have an inventory list and there's pickles and jams and jellies and yeah. all sorts of things. Yeah. yeah. So the puppies are here, as you can hear, and there's, I don't know, birds doing their thing and they're they've already claimed this space as their own over here okay lay down well we have bobcats and squirrels and coyotes oh well they don't need, they don't need to get too excited then <laughs> <laughs> i don't need them to get, get excited about a bobcat although the bobcats usually say to themselves don't they they're not we're not too worried about them yeah yeah great so if you want to any kind of preserve what kind of preserves do you have to sell everything Eat and anything pickles, relishes um dill pickles all kinds of jam jelly nice syrup yeah which is jelly that didn't gel 
exactly. <laughs> we just make it into syrup. That's right. We'll use it either way. <laughs> so yes, I and I've got a plug in the the newsletter coming up with just get a hold of me and I'll see what I can do for you. There you go. You might get a little 20 second visit at your front door too. Who doesn't want that? Right. And 50% of my sales go to St. Thomas. So Wonderful. Aren't you? Yeah, you've always been very generous that way. That's awesome. Thank you very much for that. So, um, like you're a positive person. How are you staying positive? Or are you just naturally like that? Well, I think it's sort of natural. But really, our, our life has really been very difficult. <laughs> in the early years we were all of us have Crohn's disease oh, okay and yeah we were in our 20s we were in and out of hospitals major surgeries wow. Maury was sick Curtis all of us were so sick yeah and um, so you kind of get through that and you think I'm not gonna waste any days right right good point yeah I was I was uh, watching some uh, speakers from this evolve evolving faith conference last weekend and they were talking about living uh, su succumbing or sub submitting to the fact that we are living in the wilderness it's not we don't we don't we shouldn't try to live outside the wilderness because the wilderness is the wilderness the wilderness is life and as soon as we um, live into it whether it doesn't matter how bad it is or how good it is, it's it is life, and so um, to kind of live into that, and to and I think the one thing that that um, that I appreciated from one speaker was um, we're although we're we try to be positive most of the time, we're not perfect, and life isn't perfect, and it's okay to sometimes say, yeah, not not a great day, <laughs> right? Everybody and to acknowledge has that. that, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, truly, I mean, <laughs> it would be silly to say I'm positive all the time. All the time, yeah. But most of the time, yeah. there's always sunshine somewhere. Yeah, there's always something to to feel good about, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm like that too. So thank you. Yeah. So one of the one of the <clears throat> um, highlights that I wanted to bring up are birthday and celebration times. So we used to do this in the church, inside the church, every uh, end of the month last Sunday of the month or something um, we used to do birthday celebrations or now it's kind of grown to more than birthdays but um, but tell us a little bit about that like where that birthed and well <clears throat> I've been thinking about that for years and finally just decided to go ahead with it I think two years ago mm -hmm. and um, thought we'd give it a try and serve birthday cake and invite people who had a birthday that month to come forward and have their picture taken yeah and then hang around and visit yeah and St. Thomas just embraced that they love visiting and they love cake that's and true they were really happy to to do this got so that we had to have four cakes right we started with one and then it just grew and um, of course that changed with COVID yes so yeah we thought, well, why can't we go to people's homes if they have a birthday and wish them a happy birthday and drop off a card or mm -hmm. and just stand out on the street and visit and yeah. cheer them up because it, for some it's been very lonely to yes. be uh, by yourself and yeah. not be able to go out. Mm -hmm. And this was wildly successful. Yeah, I people just, love it. They love, love it. it. And I've got some of the folks, um, particularly the choir folks, who who come out and are there just about at every gathering. Yep. And it we get so many compliments back. Yes. That people have really appreciated the yep. the effort. Yep. It's it's not really a big effort, it's an hour's time. Mm hmm but mm -hmm. nonetheless it's very successful mm -hmm. and it's actually grown now to include anniversaries retirements mm -hmm. all sorts of wonderful things that we want that we would normally celebrate together right. that now we can celebrate at a distance but still together well yeah. and the bonus that we didn't think about was that we get to see our friends yes in the flesh yes and we all wear masks we all stay apart yep so it, it's it's working really well really well yeah yeah. So can we do it in the winter? Well, we're Canadian. I really think we can. Why not? Why the, not? The visit might be a little shorter, but yes. that's okay. 
Yeah. So if there are people that are not on your email list yet to to uh, to have involved or to invite to these kinds of things, can they they can just contact you well, or the yes. office? <clears throat> Perfect. In fact, most of my when I send it out, my email out with the date and the time and the place, I say please forward this to right. anybody you to might any, yeah. be so the whole church can come. As, yeah. You know, if you're interested, I'd be happy to forward it to them. Perfect. Just send me your information. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, because, you know, the more people we can get involved, the, the better, right? And and people are still, many people are still working at home. And if you need an hour break, you know, come visit somebody in there, make their day. It really makes people's day. It really does. It really does. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. And so um, how often do they happen? As often as you get told? As often as I get told. This month will be busy. I think we'll probably have about eight celebrations. Nice. Nice. That's so. awesome. And yeah. because there's lots of us, if I can't, like one time, a few times I couldn't go. Yeah. So somebody else. Exactly. There's enough know, of a group. There's enough of a group that yeah. will take the responsibility right right so whoever can make it can make yes. it yes that's awesome that's so great and so um yeah so so if you're interested in that being one of those like you know last minute kind of visit somebody and give them a special day contact the office or contact wanda and uh all that information is in the bulletin and i love your announcement by the way tattle on your yes. neighbor and tell on your spouse yes, or whatever right. yeah <laughs> so great. That's so great. So yeah, tell us about those kind of celebrations. Um, we're happy to add people to our list to, to go visit. Yeah. And preferably before the event, because I've had people give yes. me the information. And so next year, we'll be able to do this for them. Yeah. But if the date has passed, it's, it's a little bit harder. It's a little bit harder. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So we got to be ahead of the game. Yes. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah. That's it. Do you want to share anything else about what's happening in your world? Well, no. Uh, the, I'm part of the hospitality group, and you'll see that we normally we would be doing birthday Sundays and making sure helping out with coffee, with pastoral care, and you know newcomers and and ask me and all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Nursery. Mm -hmm. Well, since we are not in the church, yeah, we're trying to find other ways to be a hospitable St. Thomas. You're right. So if people have ideas from other churches that they've attended, yep. or you hear of something that your friend down the street and their church is doing something, let us know. Mm -hmm. We're excited to try new ideas. Right. You try yeah. it, and if it works, that's great. And if it doesn't, well, you don't have to do it again. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's the only way we know if something works or not. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, we're not uh, shameful of uh, stealing other people's ideas. Absolutely no. not. No, we do that well. <laughs> we do that well. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome. And, uh, and if any of you want preserves or if you want to get involved in birthdays or celebrations, you let the office know or let Wanda know. Um, her email's in the bulletin. And uh, yeah, and we'll continue to be socially connected, but physically distanced. Right. So have a great week, everyone, and uh, continue to recover from Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah. Enjoy the rest of the week. See ya.